my name is Jennifer Ross. I'm the owner and creator at Scenic Route located in Northwest Arkansas near Fayetteville. I retail out of a cute little place called In Retrospect in Fayetteville and soon to be in Springdale as well. Um, today I'm going to be working on a vintage school desk. You could do so many things with these. There are surfaces on here. You can just be creative and have fun with it. And you know when I was a child I had a really really cool desk very similar to this but um, the top actually opened up this part was deeper and I the top opened up and I was able to set my art supplies in there and we had that at home and I have a lot of fond memories creating many artworks back in the day um, you know things have changed this year for a lot of us and so um, if you're like me you're gonna be homeschooling and you're gonna need somewhere for your kiddo to learn um, whatever they're going to be learning. I've been inspired by mid-century art um, for this particular disc. So I was looking at the color. This is kind of like a, almost like a silvery teal gray almost. And I don't know if you know, most of the desks like this are that kind of a you know, not so pretty brown. And so I was thrilled that this one had a green tint to it. It has some cool rust on it. I like rust. I even paint faux rust. Um, today I'm gonna be, like I said, my inspiration is like mid-century atomic art for this. And so I'm gonna be covering the seat here. Um, the seat had been stained, if you guys can see that. The seat had been stained and I've done some repair work. I actually sanded this part down. This was very slick, if you guys know what I mean. If you've seen these desks before, it's kind of a laminate top. Um, it almost has like a, a layer of plastic on it. So I sanded that really good and I cleaned all the surfaces, all the wood surfaces with alcohol and actually stripped the wood because it had layers and layers of sticky fingers through the years and so I actually stripped that down and I couldn't believe I actually seen the wood but I left the scratches and I left you know there might be a few names in there and just got everything prepped and ready to go and now here comes the fun part of painting something really cool that a kid is going to be inspired by as they're learning. I began with a base of black velvet and let it dry. Then I added a layer of cherry picked, bohemian blue, and black velvet and blended them into one another for a deep space look. For the stars, I thinned down vintage linen with a little bit of water and used a stiff bristled brush to flick the paint onto the surface, followed with a small art brush for more detail. To create the spiral, known as the Orient Arm, I layered blues, pinks, and white. I started each time in the center with a square tipped art brush, and the paint would thin as I reached the end, following with a softer square tip brush for blending. It may be best to let each layer dry for more vibrant color, but experiment and see what works best for you. I use sea glass, mermaid tail, a mix of carnival red and vintage linen for the pink, followed by straight vintage linen to create the spiral. I went back in and shaded with bohemian blue and don't forget to have a spray bottle with water to make the spiral edges fade into the dark abyss.
I layered these colors at least four times before I was satisfied with the look I was going for. And once I finally finished, I really liked it. I drew out the astronaut with chalk as it disappears as I paint. The texture of the base coat gave way for the spacesuit to have dimension. I let some of the dark layers shine through for more interest. I used a soft angled art brush with tarnished pearl and vintage linen and then came back with weathered wood, bohemian blue, and black velvet for details and shading. The final step will be to add a layer of epoxy to the top so that there will be a smooth writing surface once again. I can only imagine what a child can dream of while at this desk, as art has done for me all of these years. I hope this inspires you as well. Go ahead and take that small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Check out the links below on where to subscribe and follow and also where you can grab some paint. Thanks again for watching. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I have a lot of interesting projects going on. Hope to see you soon. Until then, take care and I'll see you on the scenic route. Bye-bye.